All right, time for some uppercase cursive. Now remember, you can always pause this video so that you can practice. And if you need a refresher, feel free to always go back to the letter and watch again and then try again. Pause and play will be your best friends with this. All right, we're gonna get started with the uppercase A and the uppercase O. Uppercase A starts up on our skyline, comes back up, all the way down, just like that. Uppercase O starts in the same place, connects, and then makes a little curly. I like to think of it as someone's hair that sticks out. All right. <clears throat> now, if I were going to write, say, Alabama, start with an uppercase A. And because it ends down here, it can connect directly to my L. A L A B A M A. See how they do, in fact, connect? All right, now if I was going to do Ohio, I'll do my uppercase O, which ends up here. So then the H will start down on its own. H, I, O. So those do not connect. All right. Next, we will do uppercase C, uppercase E, and the uppercase G. Now our packet shows the uppercase G like this, but I find that it's difficult to tell the difference between that and an uppercase J. So you often will see uppercase G's like this. So that's how I'm gonna demonstrate it to you. But first, the C. It's just like the lowercase c, but it extends up to our skyline. Because it ends down here, this one would connect to the next lowercase letter. Like California. Uppercase c, lowercase a. See how it go connects right into it? Cali. California. Dot the I's. California. All right, uppercase E. Kind of looks like a backwards three. Notice it comes in at that plane line. So this one is just like the C. It's going all the way from the sky to the grass lane grass line with that middle part. So if I were going to write England, since it ends down here on the grass line, they will connect. So we'll have an uppercase E, which goes right into an N. G, L, A, and D. England. All right, now this uppercase G. Now I get up to that skyline, come back down, back up to that skyline, down to the grass line, and across. Now, if I were to write Georgia,
I could do it where they do not connect, or I could go all the way through. You will see it both ways, but the connection is the more correct version. C, E, and G. All right, next we have T and F, two very similar letters. All right, so the T, kind of like the uppercase print T, has something that goes along the top. Something like that. You might think it looks kind of like an uppercase print J. Now the F, similar. I like these Fs more than I like my Ts, so I'm actually going to erase those Ts. I'm going to try again. That's the beauty of practice. If you don't like it, you can always try it again. There we go, much more T-like. There we go. All right, so for the T, I'm gonna write Texas. Since it ends over here, I'll finish the word E-X-A-S with these two not connecting. And uh, I'll do Florida. Similarly, since it ends over here, they're not gonna connect. So I'll start my lowercase l, o, r, i, d, a, Texas and Florida. All right, next we will do B and P. All right, our B starts down at this plain line and curves up, then it comes straight down, kind of at an angle, up, and it does come out to make that connection. Plane to sky, down to grass, back up. Those are your capital B's. Capital P starts just the same. It just stops after that first circle. All right. So, all right, Boston, uppercase B. And since it comes down, I am going to connect it directly to the O, and then the S, T, O, and Boston. And for P, I will write Providence, capital P. Since it's up here, I'm not going to connect, so I'll start my lowercase r down here, P, R, O, V, I, D, E, N, C, E, Providence. All right, now we're going to do H and K. 
All right, our H. So this one is one instance where you do take your pencil off the page and K. Same thing. This is a two movement letter. So it starts just like the H. Oops. I started to make an H because I was talking about H's. Looks very similar to your lower K or to your print capital H. Alright, so let's do Houston. So H since it comes up here, it does not connect, so we'll do H O U S T O N Houston. And how about Kansas? Now, since the K ends down here, I will connect it to my A. K A N S A S. Kansas. All right. Next up, we have our M and our N. Whoo! That kind of scared me. I hope it didn't scare you too much, but I need to fix it. Give me one second. Figure that was bound to happen eventually. Here I am trying to teach from afar. It's, believe it or not, it is easier to do this in person. But we're just trying to do the best with what we have. I imagine you're doing the same thing at home. So forgive me, and I hope that didn't scare you too much. All right, so our uppercase M starts up here, goes all the way down, back up, all the way down, back up, again. Uppercase M, uppercase N, very similar. All right, if I want to do an uppercase M connection, let's do main M, A, I, N, E. And that did connect because it comes down to the grass line. How about for our N? We could do Nevada. Comes down here, so it will connect directly to my E, N, E, V, A, D, a, Nevada, Nevada, three syllables. All right, M and N. I'm gonna erase gently. Try not to launch my paper clips again. All right, next up, uppercase L and uppercase R. All right, so the L starts down here at the plane line, like that. It's very fancy. You might really enjoy writing love at the bottom of cards with this fancy L. Or maybe your name starts with it. 
All right. The uppercase R starts similarly. But really, if anything, it's much like the curse of P. If I left it there, that'd be a curse of P, but then it comes down. It looks rather like an uppercase print R. Just with a little bit more style. All right. How about we do Little Rock, the capital of Arkansas? L. It's down on the grass line, so it connects directly. L I T T L E. Oh, but I have to connect dot my I and cross my T's. Otherwise, it would be look like Lily. Little, and then rock. Similar, it's down here on the grass line, so it will connect directly to my O. Little rock. All right. Next up, we have the uppercase U. as well as the uppercase V. All right, so our U starts up at the plane line, curves down, back up. uppercase U's, like Utah. It's down here at the grass line, so it'll connect directly. U-T-A-H, cross my T, and then some V's. All right, and we could demonstrate that with Virginia. It ends up here, so I'll start my I down on its own, V-I-R, G, I, N, I, A. Virginia. All right, nearly there. Ooh, a fun one. The uppercase D. And the uppercase W. All right, so the D starts at the skyline, down to the grass line, curves around, back up, and makes that hat similar to the O. All right, let's try again. And we could do an uppercase D like Delaware. Since it ends up at the skyline, the E will start on its own. Del A W A R E. And then our W. All right, and we could do an example. How about Wyoming? Similar to the D, the W ends up at the plane line. So my Y will start on its own. Y-O-M-I-N-G. Wyoming. All right. We are nearly there. All right, we're going to have an uppercase Y and an uppercase Z. 
and they are exactly like their lowercase counterparts, just bigger. So that Y makes sure, makes sure it goes all the way up to the skyline as opposed to the lowercase, which just goes up to the plane line. So very little difference. And how about we do Yosemite? Beautiful national park. Capital Y. It ends down here, so I'm going to connect directly to the O. Yo S E M I T E. Yosemite. All right. Our Z. This was our lowercase z, if you remember. The uppercase is just like the y. It just starts up at the plane line. Lowercase z, uppercase z, lowercase z, uppercase z. And how about we do New Zealand. So we'll get to practice in uppercase N again. N E W uppercase Z E A L A N D. New Zealand. All right, we're gonna do an uppercase S now. A little different. Starts down at the grass line, goes up to the skyline, then it crosses back over on itself and it crosses at that plane line. Then it comes down, connects again, and goes forward. All right, watch. All right, and I'll do the example over here because it's the only letter for this one. So let's do Seattle. All right, capital S. It ends down here, so we'll connect directly to the E, A, C, A, T, T, L, E. Cross both of your T's. One more about South. Dakota. All right, here we have the uppercase I and the uppercase J. I starts on the right side down on the grass line goes up to the plane line loops back around might feel like you're doing the eye backwards but that is the way it's recorded plane the grass line to skyline back down and around the example for I could be Idaho, capital I, and then D A H O. Hmm. I think I did this incorrectly. Mm. 
Yes, let me re-demonstrate that. I apologize, it must be a while since I've written an uppercase I. So we'll start here. Mm-hmm. All right, and then our uppercase J. All right, so let's do some more eyes. Sorry about that. You know, I'm not too sure. I'm going to check another resource. You know, I was right the first time. And that's okay. Because we all make mistakes from time to time. And it just didn't feel right. And I didn't want to just send you on your way. So, yes, that I, like I said the first time, starts down here, comes up and crosses. So when I write Idaho, start on the right side. Then I'll pick back up here and connect to my D, A, H, O. I, O, W. All right, and that uppercase J starts down on the grass line, back up to the sky line, and down. Grass to sky, back through, and up. So for this one, I'm going to write... New Jersey. So again, another capital N, which connects directly to the E. New J. It's going to connect directly. E R S E Y. New Jersey. Thanks for sticking with me on that one. I'm sorry I made such a juicy mistake on camera. All right, now the capital Q, and the capital X. First the capital Q starts up on the skyline, comes down, and curves around. And the X starts in the same place, and then you cross it. All right, how about we do Queen Elizabeth? So the Q, it's down on the grass line, so it'll connect directly to my U, Q, U, E, B, N, capital E. L I Z A B E T H Queen Elizabeth and X how about Xerxes X E R X E S Ooh that was not my best cross my X, and cross my X. Notice I just went right into my connection there. X, E, R, X, E, S, and I cross both of my X's afterwards. And that is your, curs your cursive uppercase alphabet.
happy practicing. <laughs>